Up until now, there hasn't been a quick and easy way to use animated typefaces from sites like Animography that provide very cool looking animated typefaces. Characteristic gives you a new and drastically sped up animated typeface workflow. The existing method of dragging each character from the project panel that you need to spell out a word into the composition is a very slow and tedious task, uh, especially when you have multiple words. So that took about a minute total to do, and so that's fine if you only have one or two words to do throughout an entire project, but if you have a lot of words that you need to do, this is gonna become a significant time sink. So characteristic can drastically speed this workflow up. So to use it, we set the animated typeface folder, in this case Webster, and then we want to use a bigger font size. We'll set it to 400 and also a little bit of tracking. And I want to use a stagger time of two frames. And that means that the first character will come on at frame zero and the second character will start to appear at frame number two. Next, we need to tell it what uh, text to spell out. I want to say polygon with a period at the end. And since this has an uppercase and lowercase and also the Webster font uh, contains uppercase and lowercase glyphs, we're going to check on case sensitivity and click create. So you'll see that characteristic went into the Webster folder and grabbed out all the needed characters to spell out the word polygon, placed them into our composition and also aligned and tracked them. It also attached them to this uh, null that you can easily move all the characters around with. And also on this null, uh, are a bunch of dynamic sliders that we can change uh, various aspects of our characteristic animation. So right now, they are coming on with a two second stagger. You can see that if you watch the values that they're two frames apart. So say we wanted to increase the effect of the stagger to uh, 10 frames. So we'll put in 10, and so now if you watch the values and the animation, you'll see that this uh, the stagger effect is a lot more pronounced. We can also change the order that the stagger is coming on from. So right now it's coming on from left to right. And if we wanted it to come on from right to left, we just change this to 100%, which means the end of our uh, text. So now if we scrub through the timeline, you'll see that it's coming on from right to left. We can also randomize the time that these characters come on by increasing the random time frame slider. And so now you'll see that this is a little bit more randomized and we can get rid of the stagger. Now it's just coming on at a completely random time. And if we didn't like the particular order that these random characters are coming on, we can change this random time seed slider and that will just give us a different randomized order that these characters come on with. We can also change the tracking of these characters by coming up to the tracking slider and adjusting it here. Uh, so right now you can see that they are um, tracking from the left. And if we want to change that to right, just change this to 100%. And that means that they are going to track from the period instead of the P. And if we wanted to do the center, we just do 50%. And so now everything's going to be um, tracked from the center. And at the same time, you still retain the ability to come in here and manually animate or tweak these characters as you so desire. And all these expressions will still work. And if expressions aren't your thing or if they're slowing down your project too much, you don't have to use them. And I'm going to switch over this other composition and switch to a font called Mondo. And I'm going to set the font size and the tracking to what I already know works best. And then I'm going to uncheck the animate checkbox. And that's going to not add all those expression controls that I was showing off earlier. And uh, then I'm going to set the stagger time to be a little bit stronger, three frames. I'm going to leave it at first, and then I'm going to change the text to Shogun. 
uh, and uncheck case sensitivity since Mondo doesn't have any lowercase uh, uh, glyphs and I typed in all lowercase. And then I'm gonna select the comp that I want it to go in and click create. And you can see that it generated a traditional stagger without any expressions. And for another scenario, I'm gonna go into this comp and I'm gonna use a typeface called typogami. I'm gonna set that. And again, I'm gonna put in the parameters that I know work best for this particular scenario. And I wanna use a random order. And then this field then becomes the span of time that characters are allowed to randomly appear at. So I want these characters to come in within a duration of one second. So I'll put an S at the end, which will override the default value of frames. And then I also uh, want to change this text. I'm going to say clouds. And I also want to insert these characters at the current time. And I'm going to click create. I'm going to switch these to 3D layers. And then I'm going to scrub through the timeline. And then I'm going to position these where I want them to be. And you can see that instead of setting them at the beginning, it generated them right at my timeline scrubber. And over a duration of one second, these layers start to pop in. And oops, I have this a little bit lower than I want it to be. So I'm just going to raise that up. And there you go. This last demo will show how well characteristic works with even large amounts of text. So I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum and I'm going to give it a little bit of tracking and I'm going to click create. And you can see that pretty quickly um, it's done. And it's again found all the characters and aligned and tracked them and uh, staggered them all and laid them out on a single line. I want to put these on a second line, so I'll just grab them and move them underneath. And done. And that's it for the basic tutorial. Uh, there will be another tutorial showing the advanced functionality, which is mainly geared towards uh, animated typeface foundries that want to ship their typefaces with characteristic compatibility. Thanks for watching.